Hi, my name is Brooklyn Prince. I'm a student occupational therapy assistant at Cincinnati State. And I'll be demonstrating the SLEMS test today. It's for patients that, or it's for detecting if a patient has dementia, early onset dementia. And I've asked my husband to sit in as a mock client. Go ahead and sit down. Okay. And what's your name? Robert Prince. What's your age? 27. And what's your level of education? Bachelor's, but I'm getting my master's right now. Okay. I'm going to read you these questions. All you have to do is answer them. And I'll be writing things down, but it's not a reflection of your answers. It's just what you say I'll write down. I'm not grading you or anything right now. Okay. So let's start. What day of the week is it? Tuesday. Okay. What is the year? 2020. What state are we in? Virginia. Please remember these five objects. I will ask you what they are later. Apple, pen, tie, house, car. You can repeat them. Apple, pen, tie, house, car. You have $100 and you go to the store to buy a dozen apples for $3 and a tricycle for $20. How much did you spend? $23. How much do you have left? 77 Please name as many animals as you can in one minute. Hold on just a second. Go. Dog, cat, parrot, parakeet, pig, um, horse, cow, donkey, lizard, iguana, snake, spider, Tarantula, cockroach, um, mosquito, fly, um, mosquito, fly, horse fly, and then we can do... Time's up. Okay. What were the five objects I asked you to remember? Oh boy, apple, pen, tie, car, house. I'm going to give you a series of numbers and I would like you to give them to me backwards. For example, if I say 4-2, you would say 2-4. 7 7 eight. Six, four, nine. Nine four six. Eight five three seven. Seven three five eight. This is a clock face. Please put in the hour markers and the time at ten minutes to eleven o'clock. I'll make a bigger circle for you. Make the time at eleven o'clock. Ten to eleven. 10 to 11. Please place an X in the triangle. Which of the above figures is largest? The square? I'm going to tell you a story. Please listen carefully because afterwards I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Okay, I'm listening. 
Jill was a very successful stockbroker. She made a lot of money on the stock market. She then met Jack, a devastatingly handsome man. She married him and had three children. They lived in Chicago. She then stopped work and stayed at home to bring up her children. When they were teenagers, she went back to work. She and Jack lived happily ever after. What was the female's name? Jill. What work did she do? She was a stockbroker. When did she go back to work? After she met Jack. After her kids, I guess. What's your answer? After her kids. What state did she live in? Chicago, Illinois. Okay, um, that's the completion of this exam. Thanks for helping me out. You can go and I'll total the score. Okay. So, um, Okay, so here's my score sheet. Robert scored 28. On this side, it's those with high school education or he or higher. He has that. This is the less than. Um, so he is within 27, 30. He's a 28, so he's in normal range. Ooh, that's blurry. I'll make a copy of it.